So let's say you have a Shopify store and you've been working on it for years and you've just realized that Shopify just recently updated or upgraded their customizer page. You've also realized that your Shopify theme is not capable of using the new features such as the modularity of store pages, all of the pages, and app blocks, app extensions, and so on. And now you're thinking, oh wait, do I need to upgrade my Shopify theme? But the question is, how can you do that? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to migrate or to upgrade your Shopify theme from, I guess, the old template system to online store 2.0, which is JSON templates. More on that after this intro. Now, before we start this video, I just want to mention that I am not going to migrate all of the template files, such as the um, the products that liquid, the search that liquid, the cart that liquid, and so on. What I'm going to do in this video is just to show you how to migrate a template file from the old template file to JSON template file. So, if you're interested to know more, or if you're interested to learn more about those template files, migrating those template files from the old system to Online Store 2.0, I have a course for that i started working on it just recently so if you're interested i'll put its link in the video description below or you can just go to weeklyhow.com courses and it should be there and also you can use the coupon code uh what coupon code can we use today um, um yellow cup and you can get 30 percent off but anyway, let's go to our desktop and what I'm going to do is to open our code editor or our theme code editor here in the themes page. And as you can see, I'm using debut right now. So this is an old Shopify theme. Right now, the new Shopify theme is called Shopify or Dawn. It's called Dawn. So let's just go to theme code or edit code page. So we're here at a theme code editor and what we're going to do is to migrate the 404 that liquid from the old template system to online store 2.0 or JSON template. So the first thing that we're going to do is to move the following code to a section file. So go here and scroll down and look for the sections folder. And we're going to create a new section. So click the add a new section. And we're going to call this, you can call this whatever you want. You can call this, say, for example, let's call it template-404. Let's create that section. You don't need to type that liquid. You can just give it a name and it should automatically give it an extension file called that liquid. And in this file, we're going to move the code from the 404 that liquid. So we can just cut this and then move it above the schema tag like so so you can save this we can go back here in 404 and we can just delete this file so click delete file you can delete this file and make sure that you press ok i'm okay with that and the next thing we're going to do is to create the json template so go back to templates folder here and click the add a new template and here we're going to select the 404 so look for 404 right over here and make sure that you highlighted or you selected the JSON template type. And then you can just click create template. And here, this is where we're going to reference the template 404. So inside of the sections field, create a new section ID and we can just call it um, template um, 404 or let's just call it template. And inside of this template field, we're going to create the type field and for that type field, we're going to give it a value. For this type field, we're going to um, use the template 404 file name. So here, you just need to apply the name of the section that you created uh, a few minutes ago. So again, sections, that is the section that you created inside of the sections folder. And then inside of the sections field, you create the template as the section ID. We're going to use the section ID here inside of here inside of the order field. So go here inside of the array and use the template section ID. So again, the template section ID, you're going to use that inside of this order field. So inside of the array, type the template. So if you have, say for example, 
two sections inside of the um, sections field, then you're just going to add comma and then reference that um, section ID. So say for example, let's create another section ID. And I'm going to call this, let's call it um, content 404. I don't know, you can just call it whatever you want. And inside of this, you need to set the type field. So it should be type. And here you're going to give it a value and which is the um, the section that you created in this sections folder. So let's say I'm going to use um, newsletter. Let's just use newsletter. And then you can just reference the content for 04 inside of this um, order field or inside of the array like so. So if I save this, and if we open our customizer page, let me just open the um, themes page. And we're going to open the customizer page. So it should be this one. You can just click that. And if we open the 404 template, it should be here in the templates. And it should be inside of the others. And it's not showing up in here. 404. And here. You can just search for it and it should be right over here. So 404. Let's open that and there you go. So you can see now we have the section name and that is the um, basically this template 404 because right now we, we haven't set the name of the section. So you can just change this to something else like um, template 404 and then it should, it should this, um, this name should be updated to template 404. And also if you take a look, we have the following newsletter and that's because we used that right over here. So the section content 404 and it's using the newsletter section which is right over here. Um, where is that? Newsletter right over here. So type that's the section name or the name of the section file and then this is the section ID that you reference that you'll be referencing or using inside of this array or the order field. And again, inside of the sections field, you create section ID that you're going to use inside of the order field. I believe I keep repeating myself, so I apologize for that. I just want to um, clear things up. So if you have any questions, let's just let me know in the comments below and I'll try my best to um, explain it. But there you have it. That's how you migrate um, a template file from the old template system to JSON template file. Now let's try to migrate, say for example, the article, um, article.liquid. Let's try to migrate this one. So I'm going to save the template for offer.liquid. There you go. And here, as you can see, we have the following code. Now what we're going to do is to move all of this code um, to a section file. But first, let's look for a section tag because I'm not sure if there is a section tag in here. So I'm going to use the search tool and search for section tag. And there is, there is a section tag right over here. Now the problem with JSON template file is that, or the problem with section now is you can, you can no longer use section tag inside of a section file or a section, yeah, section file. So let's try and do this. So I'm going to copy the following code and I'm going to create a new section inside of the sections folder. And I'll call it um, template hyphen article. Just an example. And then I'll just move all of the code from article.liquid above the schema tag, like so. And I'll save this. And then what we're going to do next is to create the JSON template file for article. So here I'll just delete this file. I'll delete this. And then what we're going to do is to create a new template file and I'm going to call it the article. I'm going to use the article. So article and then set it to JSON and create template. And here we're going to set the um, section ID once again and we'll just set it to template. And then we're going to use that right over here inside of the array template. And then inside of this template field or the section ID, we're going to create the type and we're going to use the template article that JSON or template article, not, not that JSON. Sorry about that. So template hyphen article. All right. So that should be it. You can just save this file. 
and let's go back to our customizer page and refresh the page because we're going to we make sure that everything is refreshed all of the files or templates should be um, refreshed so let's just wait for it and let's open an article so go back here and look for blog post and let's just use the default blog post and I believe we don't have a blog post so I'm going to create a blog post so here open the blog post page to, uh, in a new tab and we're going to create a new blog post you don't have to do this uh, that's because I'm doing this that's because we don't have yet a blog post in this in the Shopify store okay so I'm going to create a new blog post let's just make this quick I'll just call it um, about us I'll make this visible I'll just type in here this is an example um, article this is not supposed to be about us supposed to be an example journey and then we're going to set this to um, create a new blog or you know what yeah create a new blog and we can just set its blog title to um, journey something like that and then we're going to use the default blog post so you can just save this you should create a new blog post and let's just refresh our customizer to enable the um, the template file okay so let's try it again let's open the blog post and this time you should be able to select the default blog post and here as you can see now we have the following article page and as you can see now it's using the section name um, template file and that's the um, template article that would liquid so we can just change this honestly to um, template article we can just save this and then if you take a look in here as you can see we have the following error that says um, cannot render sections inside of sections and that's because like I said earlier section you can no longer use sections inside of section files or sections to fix this you have two options it's either you create layout or you move the code from that section to this section so let's try and move the code from this section which is the template article or the um the section which one was it let's go back to our code honestly so we're going to move the code from the article template this file inside of this template article that we just created so let's open this by clicking this button or you can just go to uh, sections folder and open the article template it should be right over here let's open that and here you can just copy everything you can just move it right over here inside of the template article but before we proceed let's just double check if there is a section inside of this section file so search for it, it looks like there is no section we only have include tag and that's pretty much it so what we can do honestly is we, we can just move the schema tag first and just paste that underneath of um, the script or you know what we already have a schema here so let's just double check everything I'll just move the schema tag here and then we have in here schema setting for um, the name of this section and also for the show share buttons so I believe we can just get rid of this we don't need this anymore like so and then we can just change the um you know what i'm not going to change the name of the section that's because it's translated there's no need to translate there's no need to change it it's perfect already so you can just leave it as is so the next thing we're going to do is to move this code inside of our template article so we can just cut this and go back to article that liquid and then let's go back to this section and this is where we're going to move that code so we can just delete this tag and paste the code like so just like that so if I save this and if I go back to our customizer page and refresh the page this time it should either work or not because I didn't really check everything so let's just hope it works and there you go it looks like everything worked so that's pretty much it that's how you fix that error so like I said you have two options it's either you use layouts or 
you move the code from that section directly to the template file that you created for the JSON template file. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you migrate a Shopify theme from the Liquid template to Online Store 2.0 or JSON template. Now, like I said, I'm not going to cover all of these template files because I believe we, we just worked on two template files and I believe it already took us 20 minutes. So if we if we worked on this, all of these template files, it's going to um, it's going to take us a lot of time. So um, I believe it's not worth a shot. So if you're interested to know more, you can take my course. I'll put its link in the video description below. In that course, I covered uh, migrating a template file from Liquid to JSON template file. It's not yet finished. I'm still working on uh, migrating the. Um, um, the cart that liquid, the um, the collection that liquid, the index that liquid, the um, the page and so on. I just finished working on the the 404, the article, the blog, and then the sidebar. So in that um, in those lessons, I covered fixing sections as well using layout. So if you're interested to learn about layout using layouts and JSON template, then um, feel free to uh, take my course. I'm not going to force you to do that, but if you're interested, like I said, you can just take my course. I'll put its link in the video description below. And don't forget to use the coupon code. Um, what was that? I think that was yellow cup. Yeah, everything is in the description below. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you learned something from this video, let me know by hitting the like button and subscribe for more Shopify theme related videos or Shopify theme development related videos. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Take care of you guys and